We're here in uh, Kofnerhof, and it sounds very German and uh, or Austrian, and we're very close to the border of Austria, maybe just 30 minutes away. And uh, we're here at a great winery that produces only white wines. They're very typical of the area, and I think one of the best expressions of the terroir of the area. We're here with Gabby and Gunter. We're here in their brand new cellars. They just completed last year, and. Um, Absolutely fantastic. Still a very historical uh, part of nature, but also you can see that they're refurbished and new. Um, an excellent job. They're, they're yeah, a beautiful sure. seller. And again, only 80,000 bottles produced here. And, everything. And, everything. And maybe uh, a quarter of that or 30% of that comes to the United States. United States. Yeah. But Nina? Valdelina. This is the Valdelina now. It may be my first time tasting Valdelina. Oh, really? Oh. This is my first Italian Valdelina. <laughs> mm -hmm. I had a Valdelina in New York. Ah. A few, a few months Very ago. nice. Wow. You know, we're very close to Austria where the Grüner Valdelina is very popular. But uh, that, for me, this is the first time I'm tasting an Italian Valdelina. And I'm happy how, to how, taste it. How many times have you been to Italy? Uh, about 110. 110 times. 110 times. 110 times, and you've yeah. only, you've never ever had a Veltlina. I've never been to this area. I've never been here. I actually, remember I, I told you in the car, I think we're going too far north, because we were so close to Austria. So I've been to Bolzano many times, but not to this area, and to taste the Veltlina in a new area. That's what's exciting about wine. The best wines are the ones you've never tasted. Well, you know, I, I think the little I know, the, I, the, you start realizing how little you know, mm -hmm. is, the, is the beautiful thing about wine, mm -hmm. and learning about wine. Wow, elegante. Well done, elegante. Okay. Sente un po' la paprika, si sente il pepe nero. Taste the black pepper, paprika, get that sensation. Very elegant though, extremely elegant. Not as acidic as the others. Spicy. Yeah, you don't feel the acidity as right. much. The acidity is there, but the other things are, you know, are, More are combining with it. It's very nice. The color is beautiful. Little, little greenish straw. You know, and these wines are all similar, but they all have their own personality. They're all different. And you don't appreciate it unless you taste them side by side. Well, when you look at this wine in the glass, it's it's got some body. It's it's got some. You know, you see the legs on this wine. It's, kind of, it's kind of a little viscous. It's, it's, uh, it's really, it's a yummy. Absolutely. Very good. I think the common theme with all the wines that we take, they have like this spectacular vibrancy. All of them are so alive in the mouth, and you, and you can you feel it. You feel, you know, the, the vineyards. You feel the it's mountains. Our war. Absolutely. Every one of the Absolutely. wines. The wines only. The grapes only have to travel. Yeah. 40 meters, 100 meters, 200 meters. I mean, if only everyone could see what's right outside that door. Yeah, that's, yeah. Where, the, that's where the grapes come from. But they can taste it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this, this, this wine's all stainless steel. No. Yeah. Oak. yeah. Yeah. Do any of the other wines have oak that we're going to taste? Uh, uh, Pinot Grigio and uh, Silvana. Oh, the Silvana. Oh, okay, yeah. great. Now we have to disappoint some people too though because the Feltlino wine is not available in the United States. I would just say not yet. Not yet. <laughs> the next wine we're going to drink is Kerner. Kerner. And that happens to be one of Bob's favorites and yeah. I think Bob sold a lot of uh, your Kerner at his restaurant. Yeah. Tony, you drank a few bottles of uh, A bottle or two. <laughs> a Muva Kerner. Si, è un incrocio con Riesling più schiava. Al naso è più intenso, più aromatico. Aromatico. Si sentono un po' anche di basilico, salvia. Si, erbe. Erbe, si. E dopo una frutta di albicocca. Marke, uh, passion fruit. Passion fruit. Okay, I'll try to remember all of that. <laughs> but uh, first of all, it's a cross varietal. It's not a hybrid, but a cross. But two different vinifera grapes. One Riesling, which I think we're all familiar with. Well, but what do you mean not a hybrid? You, they don't grow them together? They, no, blend, they blend them? The crosses are uh, from one family of grapes. Right. They're all Vitis vinifera. 
whereas a hybrid is from maybe a Labrusca and a Vinifera. Mm -hmm. okay. See, but these are from the same family. And so it's a very noble Vinifera cross. And it's Riesling, which we all know, great white, great variety, and also Schiava, mm -hmm. which is a red grape variety, and in Germany they call it the Trollinger. So that, that's what this is. It's a cross, and uh, it's, it's very good. And there's a lot of herbs and spices in the nose. He mentioned basilico, right, mm -hmm. basil, salvia. and salvia, sage. So you get that in the nose. definitely get the basil in the nose. Yeah, definitely herbs. 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 Yeah. You really feel herbs in the nose. And the taste, I think you said, was albicoca, apricots, mm -hmm. and passion fruit. Mm -hmm. So it's a very interesting wine. And I'm glad they made that cross, because I think this has a different personality from uh, the other grape varieties we tasted. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's very focused, yeah. very focused. It's uh, the minerality. La città yeah. e in bocca abbiamo ancora questo sentore al naso che abbiamo sentito in bocca abbiamo la frutta, no? Yeah. Good, good breed to it. Uh, you feel the focus of the wine. It's not, it's not really a very big kind of a wine. Uh, you get good feelings in the back of your tongue and even in your yeah. nasal cavity uh, for this wine. It has a long finish. It sits on your your palate like lemons or fruits or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can see that with a piece of grilled fish, mm -hmm. a piece of grilled fish mm -hmm. with some good olive oil and this. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. Some tomato? <laughs> the small one. The small one is tomatoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cheese is a lot. Very, very nice. nice. So, so these wines are all, they all have the minerality. If you don't have good fruit and you taste only minerality, that's not good. So you need that fruit to cover the minerality. So you feel them both. It's like a concert. You need violins, you need horns, you need uh, brass, you know, you need all, those, all the aspects to have a good concert. If you have just one. Right, this is Vic, Vic plays the spoons. Does he? It's kind of we'll the spoons. We'll try that later. <laughs> Very good. Good, good. What a time. treat, huh? Yeah. What yeah. a treat. Drinking wine. Yeah. For the viewers, we're just preparing our glasses for the new wine. We call it Avinare. Mm -hmm. So we're getting a little bit of a rinse mm -hmm. because we're going to go to a different style of wine. And so looking at like this label, is this the... the you like it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 I am the designer of the label. <laughs> the the yes. beautiful. Is this yeah. a picture from the vineyard? Yes. Vineyard mm -hmm. with the mother and the father. Oh, wow. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's uh, four, like that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Forty years ago. I don't know if you can see, but the, his dad has a basket and the mother is right in front. That's beautiful. And what did you, you use? Um, the sepia. Yeah, sepia tones. Mm -hmm. Excellent. My, new but old. You? Not new. But old. old yes, yeah. yes. This was 40, this yeah. is 40 years ago. How much has the, this area changed in 40 years? We feel like it's low. Not a lot. Yeah, I mean, we have. 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 Uh, he said that the picture was taken just a little north of here, the vineyard area, and they've replaced that vineyard. That's the only change that took place. Yeah. They, you know, the Very vines correct. go for a certain amount of years, and then they maybe drop in production, or they may run into difficulties, so they replant. So that's the only thing that's happened. Forty years ago, you sold your wine here only? Originalmente. Uh, 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 how long in the U.S.? Quanti anni negli Stati Uniti? Ah, adesso la prima nata uh, era così che Michael Skunik era mm. giù uh, allo stand di Marte Grazia al Vinitali, ha assaggiato il Pinot Grigio ah. e ha detto io voglio tutto il vino di Corfogo. Ah. <laughs> so it was actually a good year. 2003 e lui ha assaggiato il 2002 
Pinot Grigio. Ah, so in 2003, they tasted the 2002 Pinot Grigio, and that's when they entered the United States. Skernick came to the Marc de Grazia stand. Marc de Grazia is a great selector of wines, mm -hmm. and Skernick is the importer and also the distributor in New York and New Jersey. Right. That's, that's where we get the wine from. But where was the market 40 years ago? Was, uh, was it consumed? Mercato yeah. per questo no, vino e locale. Solo qua, sì, sì. Yeah, just in this zone, uh, 40 mm -hmm. years ago, it was just local.